All right, welcome back, class. Uh, today we're looking at Witch's Promise uh, from the um, Living in the Past album. And uh, so I just did that three-quarter play along. And uh, so I'm going to show you at least what I hear on the record. Um, no guarantee that it's always correct, but it's the best I can get. All right, so that opening, he's playing in this position. And he's doing a very quick hammer on. So he's just playing the A string, the D string, and the B string. All the other str strings are fret, uh, all the other strings are muted. So when you just play those three strings, that's what you get. And then he's doing a very quick hammer on. before going to the G and the D chord. So that's the intro. And then uh, the, the little lick that gets into the verses is. So it starts on the open E. The flute is going So yeah, it would be really cool if you could do those together. That would be the hard part. You can almost slide into it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's pretty difficult, so particularly, you know, it's really fast, so I'd just stick with the... Uh... Stick with the uh, guitar part. And if you have a flute player, <laughs> they can do the flute part. And then when it starts the verses, he's just playing the A string and D string. So, yeah, just on the... He walks up to the C chord, and then it's an arpeggio of the, of the whole chord there. On the, or at least the four strings there, starting on the A string. He walks down to the G, but he leaves his finger fretted here so it becomes a G uh, well sort of a G suspended fourth but it also has the third in it down here and then before going to the A sus2 and he opens up the G and puts it back down in the middle of that strum And then back up. All right, so all the verses are the same. And then when he gets to that uh, other part, which I guess would be sort of the chorus, he... Uh, He plays a, a C bar chord, D bar chord, and then he goes back to that uh, figure that we open the song with. Now you could play an A chord there, you know, just as well. Uh, but you can hear it's a, it's a little bit different than it sounds on the record, which is. So he's just playing that, and then it comes back to the C chord. So C chord. Uh, bar, D bar, that figure, up to an E bar chord, and then it comes back down to the, except he shortens the uh, interval between that, before going back to the G and the D chords. So let's see. The witch's promise.
right? So that's... And then the, the E chord gets actually five Bs. This song is in 6-8 time, but it gets one, two, three, one, two, before going back to this. So there's an odd measure there if you're playing along with it. And then when it gets to the flute solo, it's it's just an A chord, A major, and a G major chord. But then he plays a, a G major seven at the end of that phrase, and I'll show you where that comes. It's that's what the uh, overdubbed guitar. There's an overdubbed guitar playing. That's where that uh, G major seven chord. Because the flute part is going. So that's the flute part. And the, the, the overdub guitar part is going. If you listen very carefully, it's, it's kind of buried in the mix. But he plays a harmony part to the, to the flute. So that the harmony sounds like, uh, let's see. And then I can't do that one in harmony. <laughs> I can't do that lick in harmony. So yeah. And then at the end of the solo, there's kind of some Mellotron in there. I think that's the Mellotron melody. And then The flute plays that, and just to get back in that, it's just uh, going back to the A chord. So that's just G, D, and A. And then he cuts it off and sings a cappella. And you come back in on the C and the That arpeggio is pretty fast in there when you do it at real tempo. So that just leaves the outro, which uh, I think is A sus2. Could be an A major, but I think it's A sus2. So that's just the outro. Uh, it's kind of cool what the bass is doing. So So the bass is doing something like that with the guitar chords. So 
yeah, you can uh, do that. It's kind of cool for the outro. All right, that's Witch's Promise. Um, so until next time, uh, I'm not sure what I'll be doing next, but uh, it'll be something. Uh, maybe Jacqueline. I don't know. We'll see. Till later. Bye. <laughs>